kissing back and forth Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin Will we fight when we fall, then we rise through it all Till we find what we want, then we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in Just me, just you, the last thing All right, so you ready for the deets on this palette? I am super excited to use it. It is a palette that came in the BoxyCharm. I wanna say it was in the premium. Yeah, it was in the premium. And I believe the cost was about $28 or something like that. So I get into this, I use a lot of different colors. I kind of go a little nuts with that because I really wanted to give you my thoughts on each color and how they blended. And I used most of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Yes. So we are good to go there. If you guys want to see a separate video on swatches, I can do that as well. But hopefully all of your questions will be answered in this video. So let's get started. Okay, gems. So we are taking a look at the Queen palette by Eloise. Pretty sure that's how you say that, that brand. We swatched a few in my BoxyCharm video and now we are going to create a look with it and I'm excited to do that. I want to say this palette was a $28 palette something like that so it's affordable and you know anytime I can I, I like an affordable palette you know that it's good because <laughs> I'll tell you what I am definitely bougie and everybody knows that. Okay so there's a lot of looks I can do with this and I think I'm gonna start with, hmm, Sheba, which is a matte. And I don't know if you can tell the color right there or not, but I've got MAC Paint Pot on my eyes. Let's see how she blends. I'm using an Eco Tools brush. So far we're blending okay. Not bad. Okay, okay. It's a light color. I want to see how she swatches too. Because you know, you know, not every color that swatches is going to work on the eyes and then some that swatch really well don't work well on the eyes. It's a very light color. Very light. But you can use it for a base, a transition shade. And it seems to be blending okay. Again, it's not real dark. And when you're not working with a dark color, I mean, you can really see it. If a dark color doesn't work, you'll see it for sure. Okay, so now that we went in with that, um, why don't we try Kingdom? which is the next matte, and it's a little bit, it looks like a reddish brown. So we're gonna use the same brush, and we're just gonna apply that. And she seems to be blending okay. I always start the color here, because what you blend extends, remember that guys? I'm pretty sure you know that now though, but there are some new people to my channel so they haven't heard all my stuff all my secrets yet okay not bad not bad at all huh. okay okay and when I always do that I'm always looking around to make sure that everything is symmetrical because you don't want one one eye to have eyeshadow in here and the other one be down here and would not work well <laughs> it won't look good okay let's I'm gonna take this for my brush and remind me to get setting spray guys almost out here and i'm gonna go in with who i want to put in my crease there's a bunch of ways i could take this look how about we use monarch it's a shimmer looks like that it's a little pinky but 
and being that this brush is angled, I'm going to have to do it this way to apply it. Not bad. Seems to be blending okay, and it's really pretty. You see that? It's super pretty. How you angle your brush is pretty much everything, just so you know that. And it takes time to get the feel of it. <clears throat> so for you makeup newbies, make note of that. Okay. Not bad. And I didn't even put more setting spray. Huh. Okay. So Monarch is good. Let's go over here with it. So far, I'm okay with this. I want a blending brush now though because I feel the desire to go back over it and I'm gonna pull out my master one and I just wanna take the top part and make sure from here to here and down here is blended. Oof. Karen likes it when a cheap palette works. Yes. Okay, um, this was made in the PRC too, but the company formulated it in the UK. I always look at that and I encourage you to always look at where your palettes come from. And especially when you're reviewing them, because you'll notice the difference where they come from, what the quality is, you'll get a better understanding of where you can get a palette that you know that's going to be worth more. Usually it'll work better. Let's put it that way. Okay, so now I want to go in with, ooh, I could do, how about we do another shimmer in the middle of the lid and we'll use Queen. And I'm going to put it on a Luxie brush and I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to kind of blend those shimmers together. It's dark, I like little bit of kickback there's not a lot of kickback and there's not a lot of fallout I didn't do my under eye concealer because I wasn't sure of the fallout that's pretty definitely pretty I like a lot okay so now we want to do something nice and light on the inner corner here rainy or Ronnie it's a really pretty gold and we're gonna put that right here wow Woo! that has got some pigment to it do you see that like hi <laughs> i'm trying to use as many colors as i can so i can give you an an overall thorough review oh wow okay so that is super pretty that is pretty amazing. Okay, I may have to change a few things up a little bit here, but so I can continue to use more colors. Now that queen color, I'm gonna go back into that. Purple and gold will go all right together, definitely. Guys, it's Sunday and I have a package being delivered by FedEx. I'm so excited. I think it's Boxy Lux. Oh, see that? Now we want to take this transition shade and we want to make sure that it's going to work well together. So what I'm going to do is grab um, a crease brush and I'm getting scars on brushes again. Um, this one is too fluffy, but I may have to use it anyway. We could probably get away with this one. Okay, so this is what my palette is looking like so far. Let me see, something darker. How about Majesty? It's a, a matte purple and those are hard to blend. So we're gonna start right in that crease. They're hard to make these shadows too. And course I have other color down so it's it's not going to be its true color but 
I'm trying to make this look come together with using a variety of colors. Because this may be, you know, the only palette some of you get in your boxes this month. Or this may be the only new one and you want to see. Or maybe you're on the fence about buying it. Okay. Yeah, I definitely... See how that, it's gonna look so much better. Let me catch up with the other eye. Now quickly with my blending brush, let's go in and melt those colors together. Gosh, I love makeup. I do. And then guess what we're gonna do on the outside? I wonder if you guys can, while watching the video, kind of figure out where I'm gonna take things or do I just always surprise you? Okay, so right out here and underneath we're going to go with throne and powerful i think and those are whew, some bluish colors okay let me take this brush i'm gonna have to angle it the right way put it in throne look at that it's pretty This looks like the Marc Jacobs eyeliner and that one color from Nikki's palette. Very cool. Ever so gently. Because I've got setting spray and all that stuff. Okay, now I want a stiffy. Where are my stiffies? I know I pulled them out. Here we go. Mm. Ooh, here we go. Need setting spray, powerful. Really pretty, like, not lavender, but maybe a periwinkle. Ooh, I like. Super pretty. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's cool. I'm liking that a lot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this throne and put that on this brush, which is what I used up top, and kind of put some right here on the outer edges. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Watch, it's going to come out just fine. Oh, I put it in the wrong color. Urgh. Now, if you're a makeup beginner, I wouldn't suggest using all of these colors like this at once. At all. Because you'll get confused. And it probably won't work for you. I do have to let that dry a little bit. That is really, really pretty. So, Okay, now you can see the colors I've went into. I did go into these, although it doesn't look like it. And this one here, I think, refer to the inner corner. Yeah, definitely. Um, do I have an inner corner brush? What, what was that? Oh, I hit a brush. Okay, yeah. All right, so setting spray. <laughs> Empire, it's called. Just patting it in there. Oh, I need more coffee. We'll do a tiny bit up here for a brow bone highlight. Ooh, yes. Now we want to go back in with a blending brush. Not the master one, because that one is just going to put everything all over the place and blend it all together. And I do want you to see some of the different pigments. So I'm using this Luxie brush because I can have more control over it. Okay. Ooh, very different. Okay, now I'm gonna take, no, we'll do this one. This brush, it's kind of fluffy, but go right up here. 
and blend out that. And then I want to see what I want to do here. I do have to do my um, concealer as well. But this brush, I think, is going to be perfect for, we're going to take a tiny bit of Majesty and smoke this out. The faces we make are hysterical. Okay. So yeah, woohoo. Let me get some liner on and I'll be back in a minute. So here's my finished look. What do you guys think? I have to say that this palette overall, yeah, I'd use it again. I definitely would. Um, I do like the smaller palettes for traveling and stuff like that as well, but I have to say the colors performed pretty well. The only thing I had to do was like build up the shimmers again a little bit, and I don't know how long that my eyes are going to stay like this, um, but it doesn't look like it's creasing or anything like that. So for the price of this palette, if you're thinking of picking it up, do it. And then if you get it in boxy, it's a plus, a definite plus, but I still want to hear your thoughts. So please do me a favor and leave them in the comments below. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Take that red button, turn it gray, and then go to the bell and click it and turn it to all notifications. And then you will be notified when I upload more videos. I love you guys so much. I'll see you again real soon in another video. Bye.